So, I hate to do it, but the Cardinals franchise has reached a conclusion, at least for now. I might play it off stream, like I've said, and kind of put out an update as to what's happened. But it is time for a new franchise challenge. Damn it, and we've talked about it for so long. The UDFA only challenge. Undrafted free agents only. We are not allowed to draft people. We are not allowed to make trades. We are only allowed to add talent through the free agent pool every preseason. Uh, with that, the good news is the Cardinals franchise went on long enough that we have um, a custom roster, in fairness, that has all the updated moves uh, that I actually haven't loaded up yet, but I uh, thought I had it loaded up. Well, that's embarrassing, now, isn't it? Shout out to Popcorn Chicken, by the way, for the 48 months. Appreciate it. And again, we are going to make certain adjustments uh, based on how the Cardinals franchise played out to up some positions strengths. Uh, but yeah, we're going to be using the uh, MDFL roster, which is very, very good for updated transactions and such. It's the most downloaded custom roster uh, that there is, at least on the Series X right now. I don't know if they have cross-gen, cross-plat roster sharing, but it is a very good roster. I highly recommend people check it out for the uh, the fully updated dealio. Um, and like I said, we have uh, yeah, we have the, we have the updated stuff, including Matt Coral. Not Colt McCoy as the Patriots backup. Who would have thought? Um, but yeah, this is always a really fun challenge that we do every year. Uh, we did it with Washington last year. I did not um, end up uploading that. I think I just waited too long and didn't end up actually uploading that one. So it's not on the YouTube side of things. But we will risk it again with an online franchise. Why not? Who are we moving to Utah this year? Well, that is always the meme. Is for this challenge, uh, we like to move a team to Utah. I don't know really how it ended up becoming a meme, but it is. Um, I don't know. We, we could move somebody. We could. I'm not against it. I don't know who to use otherwise. It will be an AFC team, though. So it would make sense. You know, if we want to be on the AFC side of things i mean you'd be looking at an afc south or an afc uh more likely an afc west team so there's only one that makes sense we will take control of the chargers <laughs> it makes the most sense in terms of moving a team they're the fucking red-headed stepchild in their own damn building. Uh, we're going to take the Chargers and move them. That way we're in the AFC West. Relatively tough division, of course, with the Chiefs being there. And I feel like it's, uh, it, it's a good team to move. I mean, the Raiders just moved recently. You know. I think we'll take control of the Chargers, who, again, will not be the Chargers for all that, lo all that much longer. Everyone that's on the team will not be here. Uh, <laughs> for too much longer. We'll see how quickly we go about moving on from people. We can start in the preseason. That's fine. Uh, we are going to be using a coach. And we are going to go with uh, a team builder. A team builder is the way to do it. We'll do the same thing that we did last time. An unfireable coach. It's Chris Dale every time. <laughs> Why is it always Chris Dale? Without fail. Chris Dale. Ooh, and shout out, shout out to the one shirt that we can change. I this this is so stupid. You can have a polo or a sweater. Isn't that cool? Yeah, a polo or a sweater. What great customization. <laughs> An oversized sweater. Ridiculous. Um, you know, we, we had Glendale as a Hulk of a man. Let's, uh... <laughs> let's, let's just, let's have, uh... Let's have a short king. Why not? Let's have a short king. There he is. There's our short king. <laughs> Tiny Tim. What are we going to name him? That's the question. 
They couldn't even give us a Belichick hoodie. Oh, God. We had Glendale before. The playbooks we can change later. Joseph Smith, Jr. Tim Dale. <laughs> oh, ridiculous. Ridiculous. Let's, uh... Hmm. Hmm. What do we want to, uh... Ashley Tisdale. Really? These are the suggestions that we're getting? Oh, God. All right. Chippendale. I got it. I got it. Say hello to, uh... Well... <laughs> T.I. Say hello to Tim, everybody. Our new head coach, Tim. We're ready to go. Tim is about to lead this team to glory. Let me tell you. Keep an eye out on old Tim. Uh, so let's see. Obviously, we learned a few things from our time in uh, in Arizona. Not times player can call same offensive play before it's locked. One. Why not? There we go. Let's 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 mix up a couple of things here. Um, injury management can still be automatic. Everything else, uh, I actually, I actually shout out to Carnage by the way for the two months on the primer. I again know that my streaming time isn't the best for everybody, but thank you for the resub. I appreciate it. Welcome back. College players in terms of scouting can be automatic. Because we will not be scouting, we will not be drafting. Um, the practice reps can be on automatic. That's fine by me. Um, yeah, everything else is looking okay. Um, the weekly training we can put on automatic, but again, I don't trust the AI to put the right players into those spots. Um, we don't need to worry about auto progression there. All of that's fine. The trade deadline will be on. Difficulty will be on very hard, even though we won't be doing any trades, technically. Um, free agent motivation. I do like the, having that on very high to make it difficult to keep people around. Uh, practice squad stealing will be off so that people can essentially have a kind of like a minor league team. And we will have the uh, staff talent cost still be on the slowest that it can possibly be uh, to make it more difficult to get upgrades over the years. Uh, injuries, practice injuries, all of that's fine. Progressive fatigue. Draft timer, I'll finally turn it off. Um, free agent negotiations in stage one. That's still fine. I mean, that doesn't affect us at all. Uh, coach firing CPU only, which is good. Um, yeah, all of that's, uh, all of that's fine too. Works for me. The breakouts. Here's the big one. Dev trait regression. This caused us some trouble in Arizona. It did. Um, we discovered that this can be really, really harsh. Somebody could have a decent season and still drop. Um, everyone in chat right now is screaming off, except for one person. Um, I love the added challenge of it being on, but at the same time, it is a tough enough challenge as it is that it can kind of minimize someone even going from normal to star dev. It can minimize how important that is to us by immediately taking it away in the very next off season. We do have to turn it off. We do have to turn it off. Um, otherwise, this challenge, it just wouldn't be as fun. You know, again, we'd earn star devs and then... Eh, so um, the ability to edit control is fine. The minimum roster size is fine. Everything's good there. We do want the fill roster off. And with that, I think we are looking okay. We are going to slightly edit uh, the XP that each position can earn as well. Aranis, what's going on? Um, thank you for the good luck. We're going to need it. <laughs> we are going to need it. Let me tell you that right now. So... All right, as we continue to go through these options again, we will uh, we're not even really going to be the chargers here because we can instantly move, right? We can instantly move. Wouldn't it be hard to get these rookies to uh, high dev since there's a limit? Oh, well, there isn't a limit if you have the thing on or off. So the league settings again, 
are okay. I might have to restart it as an owner. Um, I'm not sure if they let you move as a coach. There's a chance it doesn't, and I'll just have to quickly restart it as uh, as an owner and then switch it back over. But yeah, everything is uh, everything's good. Everything's good. Merge the LA teams and send everyone to the Rams. <laughs> Could you imagine? I don't think the Rams can afford it, though, because of their freaking cap hits, man. You know? I don't think they can. So, you can move as a coach now? Good. Um, that is not what I wanted to go to, although I might have to go there in a second. I forget. There it is. I was going to say, I had a feeling. Over to the XP sliders. So, like I said, we looked through these. I went through the Cardinals series and saw where were the, like, the high-end players generated. Quarterbacks were good. Um, running backs... I do think could use a really slight boost. The, there's no doubt. So you can also change the age regression rate. That's fine. Kickers and punters, man, 200. Like there were just, or at least 150. Like there were just no good kickers or punters at all. The highest rated kicker was an 80 in the Cardinals run. Um, let's get some good kickers and punters here for the love of God. Like let's actually let them be a factor. Um, the safeties needed what I labeled as a slight boost. I need to, uh, kind of decide what I want that slight boost to be. Um, that regression. I'm cool with the regression being what it was. It's fine. I, I didn't think the regression model was that bad. Um, I'm thinking, because in my head, I'm like slight boost, decent boost, drastic boost. 125 might be too much, though, for the slight boost. It might be. Um, so I think what we're going to do... You turned regression up. I did not. The regression is all on 100. It's the same thing. This... Oh, yeah, you're right. I did turn up. The, oh, shit. You're right. Whoops. I didn't know you could do that. Okay. There we go. That's better. Thank you. My goodness. I Is that new, or am I just losing my mind that they gave that much control over regression rate? I just recall being able to hit down and then start from the bottom on this side. Anyway, interesting. Um, I don't... I didn't hate prospect development the way that it was. I didn't hate it. I'm fine with leaving that on 100. Um, yeah, that makes more sense, though, because, yeah, there's, there's, there's there is the 300... Um, let's put this on, eh, 150? Or do, do we still go 200? I'm still going to go, like, 200 for kickers and punters, because if there's good kickers and punters, who the hell cares? Right? Like, I'm good with that. And if it's too much, we can drop it for future options. Um, again, we'll go, let's go like, 110 for the safeties. Corners were okay. Outside linebackers needed a bigger boost than that. There were not that many good outside linebackers. Um, middle linebackers, you could argue, like that boost up to 110. Uh, but yeah, outside linebackers definitely needed that boost. Um, there just weren't as many like super high-end players. Center needed a, a bigger boost. We'll put, we'll put them up to around 125, 126. It's got to be an even number. So, uh, And then, yeah, the guards, the tackles, they can get involved in that boost. The fullbacks, honestly, the fullbacks can go up to like 125. So that can get boosted really quickly. Uh, but just slight XP boost to try and generate a few more top-notch players. Why does it need to be an even number? Because it just it literally won't let you change it to a 125. That's why. Um, and again, we can make adjustments with this along the way, but it's just the idea of certain positions never developed. And like I said, the age progression XP rate, you could technically go kind of nuts with that. We'll leave it for now. I think it's okay. Um, again, the issue with wide receivers is from the Cardinals run. The top three were all on my team. So if you think about it, there weren't too many... Super good wide receivers outside of our team. 
That's the only reason. I want to give the AI a chance to develop a super high-end player. Um, in terms of the sliders, there isn't too much to change here. Uh, I felt like tight ends were too overpowered. Again, it's because they were on our team, though. Uh, we're going to put the injuries, even if it doesn't do anything, down to like fucking five, because Jesus Christ. And again, the minimum player speed threshold, this is the worst setting in any football game. It artificially raises up how fast somebody is to where their speed rating doesn't even fucking matter. You could have a 75 speed, uh, but really you could be more like an 80 because it's artificially boosting you up. Like, I want that differentiation in terms of the speed for players. If someone's really fast, let them be really fast. If someone's really slow, then damn it, they're slow. Um... Honestly, in terms of the penalties, I felt like for the most part, they weren't called enough, but this might also this might also be really wacky. Is that why I get no separation? Yep. They used to, EA used to have it in the college football games, too. It was always terrible. It was always terrible. Uh, I'm going to just bump these up by like five to start because we really saw very, very few penalties in the Cardinals run. We watched a full Super Bowl, and I swear there was one flag. One. That's a bit of a problem. Just a bit. Uh, but with that, I think we are good to look into our potential relocation. And whether or not we are, in fact, still going to move to Utah. Everything else there should be fine, because it should just carry over from before. So... Let's see. Again, we're not going to get too attached to this Chargers team. Not at all, but we go to manage team. We go to manage team. We hit relocate out of SoFi Stadium. We'll leave it for the Rams. Houston is still there where you pretty much end up having to be the uh, the Oilers, if I'm not mistaken. You got Austin, San Antonio, Mexico City, Buenos Aires, adding in Argentina. You know they thought they were cute, too. Oh, how about a, a new kind of football? Get out of here. Rio de Janeiro was added. San Juan, Orlando, Memphis, OKC, Omaha. Good old St. Louis. Market size small, personality laid back, which is bullshit. Which is bullshit. I do like that they add or have Canton. as not. Oh, my God. Wait a minute. Okay, I know Tokyo's there. Melbourne. Honolulu, Anchorage, Vancouver, fun, Portland, Sacramento, Oakland, San Diego. There it is! It's the place! But yeah, the fact that they have Oakland in there now is, uh, they'd love to have a team come back. Boy, wouldn't they? Albuquerque, yeah. All the way at the end, old Salt Lake City. Vancouver would be fun. But, let's be honest. It's just the meme every time. Right? I feel like we have to go back. I feel like we do. Although, ooh, that's right. We can take a look at the names. Salt Lake City Chargers. Um, so Salt Lake City has the Antlers, which is shit. <laughs> the Armadillos, which is also shit. I mean, the helmet's kind of cool. The Aviators. I don't know if these all carry over or not, or if it is city-specific again. The Aviators look like an XFL team. The Bison. The Black Knights. Okay, the, this was tied to London previously. You get the same... Okay, so they did change it, so you get the same one for every uh, every city now. Good to know. The Blues. Make your opponents sing the Blues. I mean, they already stole the Jazz. There's the Bulls. Ooh! I kinda, I'm kind of digging the helmet there for the Bulls. That's kind of nice. Uh, the Caps. The Salt Lake City Caps. There are a lot of the same logos in the NHL, but that's been an EA thing forever and ever. The Condors? Ooh. I like the color scheme, at least. The Desperados. They brought in some interesting uh, helmet designs. Don't mind that. The Dragons. Because it's a dragon. Uh, the Dreadnoughts. Well, uh, Utah doesn't have much to do with ships. The Elks. Yeah. 
College team's good. The Golden Eagles. Because Mexico. <laughs> There's the Huskies. It's funny, that is the exact color scheme I gave for that Husky when we uh, relocated the Columbus Blue Jackets to uh, Quebec City on, like, NHL 17. It's beautiful. The Ooh! Ooh, the Lumberjacks, though. Look at the plaid. Look at the plaid on the helmet. I, I like the Lumberjacks. The Monarchs doesn't make any sense for us here. The Mounties. The Vancouver Mounties. Uh, the Nighthawks? That's way too Ravens. That's so Ravens. Am I... The Orbits? I mean, if you were in, like, Orlando or something. There they are! The Pioneers! Unfortunately, the helmet design sucks. Compared to how interesting some of the other ones were, we are normally the Utah Pioneers. Um, but at the same time, that helmet design sucks. The Redwoods. They got a goddamn tree on their helmet, but the Pioneers get nothing? Out to the Redwoods, because Oregon. The River Hogs. And the Sentinels, which is what it is. The Vancouver Cedars. The Shamrocks, because Ireland. The Snowhawks, because snow. The Steamers, for Cleveland. Uh, the Thunderbirds, eh. You got the tiger. Ooh, with the tigers. It's two Bengals, though. It's way two Bengals. The Voyagers. Star Trek, baby. Uh, the Wizards. <laughs> the Salt Lake City Grand Wizards. Oh, God. Problematic people. And then the Chargers. Um, so I got to be honest. Got to be honest. There were, there were a couple... There are a couple that I liked. The bison weren't that bad. They're colorful. They're colorful. There were, there were some decent ones. The bulls weren't that bad. Condors weren't that bad. I, um... I don't hate the elks. I don't. It kind of keeps the Chargers color scheme. The helmet's kind of cool. I don't hate the elk. The elk is the national animal of Utah. How is it a national animal if Utah is not a nation? <laughs> um, the lumberjack is, is pretty solid, too. I am going to leave it up to chat. I am going to let you guys vote on uh, what we do here as we move to Salt Lake City. Um, I, I think we are going to retire the pioneers because the lumberjacks were better. That Pioneer helmet really let me down. It really did. Um, and again, the antlers suck because the elks are a better look. Aviators. Love the bison. Herms. No Jersey Knight, just good vibes. Thank you for the 20 months, buddy. How are you? How are you? We'll have the bisons because Utah. Honestly, I don't mind the color scheme at all. I do like that quite a bit. The bison aren't too bad. Um... Honestly, don't mind the bulls either. The uniforms are kind of Notre Dame. Condors aren't too bad. The Desperados. I mean, if it was like Albuquerque or something, but I'm in the Wild West. I don't mind the Desperados. Very XFL team name, though. Uh, the Elk will definitely be on the list, as will be the Lumberjacks. Chat, it is your call. What will the new look be? For us in Utah, what do you think? I'll leave it up to you. Again, we have the Lumberjacks, the Elks, the Desperados with their pretty cool helmet, uh, the Bulls, or the Colorful Bison, and it's over. <laughs> Chad has made their decision. We are moving the Chargers to Utah to become... The Lumberjacks, barring a massive change in the voting. It looks like this will be our new look here in Utah, which I'm okay with. Coach Carson, 23 months on the primer. Carson, thank you for that. How the heck are you? I hope you're good. I hope you're well. Yeah, I think I think we can probably end this. <laughs> I think we can. Again, I like the Elks look a lot. The Chargers-esque color scheme. Shout out to Carcinogen for the follow, by the way. Um, but man, the plaid helmet.
The plaid helmet won people over. We are heading to Utah. The place. <laughs> As we've known it to be. Um, and I don't have to pay for this fucking stadium. Although it has to be a basic stadium no matter what. Good to know. Uh, do we want Do we want a dome for Utah? The old traditional stadium. The futuristic. I don't mind the futuristic. That fits. You still have the Utah video. I uh, I think we do. I think we do. If not, I can find it. Use altitude to your advantage. Fair. Let's just go for the basic futuristic. That's fine. And there it is. We have already made the change. Again, it's instantaneous. The LA Chargers are no more. We are now the Salt Lake City Lumberjacks. Go Jacks! <laughs> and don't worry, we are going to reward this new fan base with pain and misery for about a decade. 